Hey guys, it's Josh again, back with another episode of OK Cupid. Today I'm going to be updating my profile and maybe answering some questions to help better match me with other people. So let's see, first let's add a photo. I've got three photos prepared. Uh, but where is it? OK Cupid profile. So these aren't the best photos, but these are the best ones I could find on such short notice. Yeah, let's uh, let's crop out a little bit of my hair, but leave enough in there so that they know I have a full head of hair. Oh yeah, it did just get hot in here. Okay, self summary. Mm, write a little bit about myself. This is the same thing as the best friend question. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Don't overthink it. Okay, I'm a writer. Shit, I can't type today. I'm a writer and poet currently living in East Harlem, New York. Should I put the state? That should be obvious. I'm a writer and poet currently living in East Harlem, New York. Should I put recently living? Because I recently moved here. I want them to know I'm new to the town so they can take me out and show me a good time. A writer and poet currently living in East Harlem, New York. Um, oh, someone visited my profile. Let's take a little detour real quick. Tennis fan. Oh, he visited my profile again. Unless that's just the same pop-up, I don't know. Um, she said, by birth and upbringing and a go for graduate. What state? I don't know what that is. Uh, moved to New York a year ago for graduate school. So far, it's been quite a trip, but I'm glad that I have moved to New York City. It's been an amazing experience to live in such a diverse city. Okay. Um... Let's see, he's online, he's gay, he's white, 5'11", athletic. But like tennis, oh God, let me look at the photos. Tennis athletic or different kind of athletic? Is he singing here? Oh, no, that's a, that's a mole, I thought it was a, a mic. He's all right, he looks nice. Do I have a message from him? Oh, I have a message from Alice. She's pretty cute, but she works for OkCupid, so it's probably automatic. Let's get back to work, guys. We came here to write my profile. Let's not get distracted. Um, people don't really read this very often, I assume, because I don't read that stuff very often. So let's just save this right now and then move to the details and what I'm looking for. That's the most commonly looked at stuff, at least to me. Okay, ages, youngest I'm willing to date. I mean, I said I look, I'm looking for someone 21 because I want someone I can drink with. But let's go down to 20 just so that it could be someone who's going to turn 21 soon. I don't want to lose opportunities there. Uh, oldest I can date. So youngest you should date is half your age plus 7. So oldest I can date is my age minus 7 times 2. I'm 23. I'm about to be 24. Minus 7 is 17 times 2 is 34. Let's just leave it at 32. Uh, location near me. Uh, status must be single. Yeah. For new friends, long-term dating, short-term dating, I guess, and I don't really want casual sex, or at least I don't want to advertise that. Uh, my details. Orientation, I already put the more options. Uh, I'm interested in everyone. I still think it's weird that they have this, but not for reverse. Uh, my ethnicity is white. Uh, Scottish, Irish, but that all really goes into white. I'm six feet tall. Uh, body type. Uh, I feel more comfortable saying average. Average American, at least. Uh, diet is um, <laughs> strictly anything. I do not smoke. Drinking uh, socially. Drugs, never. Religion, agnosticism, and uh, I'm not too serious about it. Like, I'm, I don't want them to think that I am strictly agnostic. I, I guess I am, but I'm strictly agnostic in the sense that I don't 
get hung up about other people being religious. So I'm going to leave it as not too serious. Signs Aquarius, and it's fun to think about, but it's not real. Education, um, I <laughs> technically dropped out of, uh, let's just say, I've been working on a two-year college for four or five years, and then I stopped going. So, you know, working on it. My job, I am, well, I have a job, but what I like to do is writing. My actual job is, I guess, hospitality. I work with food. Yeah, I guess I'll say that. Hospitality job, income, definitely less than 20,000. Relationship, single relationship type. I am strictly monogamous. Offspring, I don't have any kids. Um, I do eventually want them, but I'm going to put might want them so that people don't think that's what I'm looking for on here is a womb to impregnate. Uh, pets, I like dogs and I like cats. Well, kind of. Yeah, I like cats. I don't have any though. I speak English. They know about that already. Fluently. Um... Well, let me scroll down. Okay, let's go through these options. Do I speak any of these? It's clever that they have C++, but I don't speak it. Not a word. Uh, they should have Death Dothraki on here. I speak that pretty poorly. I speak Lisp. Is that a word? <laughs> Does anyone admit to that on here? I guess other. Oh, sign language. Yeah. Let me scroll through the rest. Yep, so sign language. Um, I would say, okay, I can carry a basic conversation. And then other would be Dothraki. And that would be very poor. Poorly. All right, so that's all done. Let's do a little bit more here. Did I get a message again? Oh, it's the same one. Just didn't didn't update. Okay. Let's add two more photos, let's say. Uh, me drinking a beer. Look how casual I am. Best of friends. I like I already cropped this photo before saving it. Um what's more important, the top of my hair or my pinky finger that's barely in the picture. Or I guess that's my ring finger. Let's do it right here. Thanks. Thanks, okay, Cupid. You always know how to make me feel better. Can I make this my main photo, though, on the right? Mm. Yeah, I think I can use my Instagram photos. I don't, oh crap, I don't want them public. I don't want people seeing, oh no, 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 shit, <laughs> fuck, how do I get rid of this, I'm panicking guys, photos, um, no, crap, okay, I guess that has to be on there, awkward, awkward, oh yeah, this is what I want people to see, damn it. Okay, well, uh, let's let's answer a few questions for the rest of this video, and then I'll just fi I'll fill out this about me section off screen because that's probably going to be boring. First, select the answer I feel matches best, regardless of future plans. What's more important? Right now, love. Answers I'll accept. Um, if someone's mostly yeah, any of above. Importance irrelevant. Uh, I can explain. Will, will it let me change the irrelevant? Oh, okay. So it's I decide how important it is to me that they pick one of these options. I guess I would prefer someone who picks love, but it's a little important. Not going to need to explain that. Astrological sign, not important. Um, I don't really care if they think it is. 
Uh, how willing are you to meet someone from OkCupid in person? I'm totally willing, depending on the person. Uh, and they have to be. They have. It's very important that they are willing to meet people in person. I don't want to get catfished. Smoked a cigarette in the last six months? Nope. Answers all except yeah. Uh, which would you rather be? Normal. Answers all except. It's a little important that they see themselves as normal. People who self-identify as weird are weird, and it's a little upsetting sometimes. 90% highest match possible. Could you date someone who does drugs? Yeah, but only soft stuff like marijuana. And um, I don't care what they pick. Would you strongly prefer to go with someone of your own skin color or racial background? No, I don't have a strong preference, and it's important that they pick no also, because I don't want to date a racist. Do you believe your country would be more... Wait, did I answer that question correctly? I strongly prefer to go with someone... Yeah, okay. If I said yes, that means I would prefer. Okay, make making sure. Do you believe your country would be more or less safe if every adult owned a gun? Um, if every adult, probably less safe. And... I want them to pick something like that. Somewhat important. Because I don't want them to own a gun, necessarily. Uh, about how long do you want your next relationship to last? A few months to a year, at least. I don't know if I'm ready for being tied down for life, but something strong, something good. Uh, I don't want them to pick. It's, it's actually very important that they don't pick a one-night stand, because that's not what I'm looking for. Would you consider sleeping with someone on the first date? Yeah, I guess, but it has to be right. Um, it's not important to me what they pick. Would you consider having an open relationship? I really want to be one of those people who can do that, but I'm not. I'm too jealous of a person, uh, and I don't really care in that case. Are you happy with your life? Yeah, I'm happy with my life right now, and somewhat important that they are, too. Say you've started seeing someone you really like. As far as you're concerned, how long will it take before you have sex? Um, six or more dates <laughs> for me. Uh, they can't pick after the wedding. That's very important. But six or more dates, preferably. Self-confidence? Mm, depending on the day. I'm going to say average. No, people probably have really low self-confidence for average. Higher than average. Not by a whole lot. <laughs> but I want them to have at least average. That's very important. What's the most exciting thing about getting to know someone? Discovering shared interests. Very important. How important is religion slash God in your life? Not at all important to me. Don't really care how they feel. Which makes for a better relationship? Mm, I think they should be dedicated, but passion is probably the better option. Uh, there is not something I'm going to be hung up on. Do you enjoy intense intellectual conversations? Love them. They have to also. It's somewhat important. Do you enjoy discussing politics? Yes. Um, they don't have to. Do you prefer good things happening or interesting things? Uh, ooh. I'm going to go with interesting just because it was my first instinct. They can like either. What is this? Why are these unlocking? Oh, these are people I might like? How would they know? I've only answered however many questions. In a certain light, wasn't nuclear war, wouldn't nuclear war be exciting? Um, I guess in a certain light. Okay, let me explain this one though. Exciting isn't the right word for that. World War Three was started because it was such a ruling Jewish from Pretty damn funny. 
that one's probably going to cost me some points. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I used to think I was a cat person until I had a cat. Dog person, definitely. Um, they can be anything except neither. They have to like animals somewhat. No, a little bit. Which word describes me better? Carefree. It's probably not what people would say about me, but that's what I say about myself. They can pick either. Do smelling, do, sp do spelling mistakes annoy you? Yes. They don't have to be annoyed by them, but they should be good spellers, hopefully. Not actually, no, any of the above, so it doesn't really matter how important it is to me. If you turn a left-handed glove inside out, it fits your... God, I have to visualize this. If I turn it inside out, it will fit... I mean, the gloves I have are, they fit either hand. So I'm going to i am gonna say any of the above. I feel like that's a philosophical question. But yeah, uh, oh, it won't, no, it won't give me that option. I guess technically it would fit most likely on the right hand. My gloves that I have in this picture are uh, either hand. They're ambidextrous gloves. In the line, wherefore art thou Romeo, what does wherefore mean? It means, why are you Romeo? <laughs> I like this option, though. Uh, they have to pick something other than that option, and it's very important. Uh, stale is to steal as 8947275, or 75, I'm adding numbers, is to, let's see, S-T-A-L-E, which, by the way, I don't know if you've heard, but I'm a synesthete which means that I see letters and numbers. In my case, it's letters and numbers. Some people have sound or foods. Uh, my letters and numbers appear to me as colors. So S-T-A-L-E, very colorful word because it's got A-L and E, which are red, yellow, and green respectively. Steel, same situation, all the same letters. So these are very colorful words to me. This less so, it's mostly blue and orange, but that's not important. Uh, Stale is to steel is in. So the third one moved to fourth place. Then I'll move to fourth place. God, I remember doing this question on my last account. I, okay, you just moved the last one into the middle. So five, it becomes eight, nine, five, four, seven, eight, nine, five, four. There you go. No, it's nine, eight, eight, nine, five, four, seven. I want them to put a little bit of work into that. If they made my mistake, click the other one, that works too. What's your relationship with marijuana? Um, n never, I guess. I accidentally ate pot peanut brittle once. Um, answer I'll accept. Any of the above. Well, no, not regularly. Preferably not regularly, and it's a little important. What's your deal with harder drugs, stuff beyond pot? Jeez, um, a lot of drug questions. I've done drugs. No, I never do drugs. I've never done drugs. Answers you'll accept. No, nothing harder than pot. I don't want that's somewhat important that they don't do anything harder than pot. How frequently do I drink alcohol? Sometimes. Answers I'll accept. Um, as long as it's not alcoholic, very often it's okay. Somewhat important that they drink. A little bit. Are you either vegetarian or vegan? No. Um, I prefer not to date a vegetarian or vegan, nothing against them, but I feel like that always just gets in the way of going out to good places to eat. I guess I'll pick any. No, it's and shall accept. So asking them, are they a vegetarian or vegan? It's a little important that they say no. Sorry this video is going on so long, guys. I just want to get to 100% before I end it. What best describes my political beliefs? Um, mostly liberal. And I'd prefer them to also be That's somewhat important. Burning your country flag be illegal. Here, I'll, uh, from here on, I'll just fast forward. I won't explain anything. I'll just pick the answers.
Okay guys, I answered 75 questions and I'm I'm closer but not close enough to getting to 100%. So I'm just going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe next video we'll be doing the rest of the questions or maybe looking at some people. I had another visitor during that, so let's check that out. Uh, wear it with jeans. It's from Brooklyn. He looks like it. Y'all got issues? What does that mean? Pub public match questions? Are you happy with your life? No. Yes. Uh, well, that's in general, yes. Current situation, not too much. Sounds complicated. I do like that he provided additional answers for stuff. Uh, so y'all got issues. Does that mean we don't match? I've answered 62 of the 100, 101 questions he's answered. Uh, Ethics-wise, we do match. Sex, we don't. Lifestyle, we, we match enough. Dating, kind of similar. Other, not much. Okay, well, anyways... I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And maybe something will come from it. Who knows? Probably not, but we'll find out. See you later.